The faculty I've spoken with use the word engagement and they said students are much more engaged. Um, we have found a medium, found a platform that frankly, when we started this, students were using for lots of other things, but not necessarily education. So in introducing that to them, they seemed very comfortable with the platform. There was really no learning curve. And then when they realized that they could do everything they need to do with this palette, with this tool, some things frankly they weren't aware they could do when we had to teach them, which surprised some. That really changed, I think, an engagement level that we had here. It was no longer a sage on the stage talking. It was much more collaboration. It's like, why don't you get up and give the presentation? Because you can now. The things that we were requiring of students from an outcome standpoint were enhanced with all these tools. And we're blown away by some of the things they're able to do. And they were always able to do that, but they had different tools and not necessarily the right ones at the moment. And now that it's all there in their hands uh, with the iPad, it's a, a bit of a different experience. The iPad helps a lot with our student athletes staying on track. Um, first of all, they're used to using them, but again, our buses are Wi-Fi friendly. They just bring their iPad, we log them into their Wi-Fi, they can do their homework, they can communicate with their teachers here at Lynn, um, and they're able to stay on top of things with just putting their iPad and their Apple Pencil, and then we're on the road, and they're working until we get there, and then they're working on the way home. I use it a lot in game. So this is something that I've been working with for the last four years. Um, I have one with me on the sideline at all times. So I carry it and I basically replace my traditional clipboard. Um, there's a few apps that I found in the Apple Store that have been really helpful um, for me to be able to draw plays, for me to be able to um, you know, communicate the types of, of offenses and defenses that we're going to change in-game. Um, another really great thing I use my iPad for is, is live stats. So typically you would be um, handed stats after every game, but for me I have an actual live snapshot of how the offense is going, how the defense is going, uh, the opponents, you know, to a degree tendencies. Um, so that's been a really big game changer for me in, in matches. The iPad and coaching has been a new and fun thing for me to learn. And I think for us the biggest thing is being able to send our players clips and then being able to watch them and learn and really what, do what they're used to doing, right? They're used to being online and looking at stuff and, and interacting with and tech, technology. And so for us, we use a couple of apps that we really enjoy with that aspect of video. And then the other huge thing we've been able to do is teach them how to draw up plays, which for a lot of them, they want to be coaches in the future. And I think the app that we use on there um, with the iPad helps as well because we can help them learn how to draw up plays. I would say one of the apps that stands out to me is Canvas as well as the iBooks. It's one of the main reasons I chose Lynn. Being a student athlete and traveling, having to carry books everywhere is a big inconvenience, so with the iPad it makes it a lot easier for me. I think it's helped me succeed both like with softball and academically. I think this past year we had nine trips and I never missed an assignment because of the iPad. So just sitting on the bus, being able to like do my homework, take actual tests while I'm away at tournaments uh, makes it a lot easier for me to succeed academically. And athletically, I'm able to like watch film of myself and my opponents. So I'm able to watch other teams and see what I should be preparing for the next pitcher on my iPad, which is awesome. I think that process has been by design, uh, really started off with the core curriculum. Uh, the faculty who came together to create the dialogues uh, so many years ago now, which is hard to believe, uh, we used really the same discipline as we've used for uh, technology adoption here at the university. Lots of professional development, teaching people what they don't know, um, putting them in spaces where that are very safe to learn from their peers, letting them tinker, uh, learn some new stuff, understand what their concerns are, as well as to run some pilots so we can see what is the efficacy here, does this work, uh, where do we need to, um, to pull back and redirect a little bit. So it really is more of a process. I think a lot of folks think sometimes you flick a switch and things work, um, but it's a lot of behind the scenes work on moving folks along, continuing to keep them up to speed, and then when they get proficient, taking on their feedback and trying to enhance a program. So we're going to continue doing the iPad thing, which is good, uh, because we think that's important. You know, as Apple continues to evolve, as they do, and we learn what they're up to uh, in real time, uh, it was always exciting to see what's next. We watch all the, the releases and updates, because unlike a personal consumer, I can say, oh, I get to do that now. 
we can now say we can give that to our entire campus. And when a software update comes or when there's a hardware update, then we're, you know, we're actively looking at integration of Apple Watches and how can we integrate that into health and wellness here at the university and possibly with our student athletes in particular. Um, that's pretty exciting. Um, so that, that's where we are on the cusp of right now and, and who knows because Apple's always doing something new and fun.